it's Amanda and I'm headed to the parks today and I'm really excited because I have 47 whole dollars I'm gonna show you my 10 favorite snacks that are under five dollars each because your girl is on a budget let's go just so you know I'm not doing this in any particular order other than this is the order that I'm going to the parks in I'm at Disney today I'm doing all four parks putting together some money saving tips and I already forgot to follow my own number one money saving tip, which is bring a reusable water bottle. I like hiding in a corner, but I got the chocolate hazelnut tart. It's basically a toaster pastry. They usually have this flavor always and a seasonal flavor. really tasty. For me, it's a shareable snack because I don't have like a gigantic sweet tooth, but I'm gonna end up leaving the park today with like a backpack full of half-eaten snacks. <laughs> Made it to my second stop, which is Disney's Animal Kingdom. Maybe I'll get on my mother's favorite attraction, it's tough to be a bug. Pineapple and cream cheese spring roll, covered in sugar. One of my favorite snacks. Okay, eat that whole thing. I am so thirsty and I'm trying not to buy water, but I'm getting dehydrated and I feel like that is not a good example to be setting for everybody. So I'm gonna grab a drink, then I'm gonna get my next snack. I'm like awkwardly sitting in a corner. But plain mac and cheese is $4.49. I like it because it's like real cheese. You can get it also with either pulled get it also with either pork pork or shrimp but obviously that's an added charge and it makes it more than five dollars if you're looking for just a quick couple of bites this is definitely shareable for some people i don't like to share my food i'm so sweaty <laughs> they made it to epcot some loud music going on there's festival of the arts so there's really cool stuff happening did i get a water no I got a cold brew. Now my hands are super shaky. Don't follow my example, kids. Hey, there's nowhere for me to sit, so I can't eat and show you this at the same time, but I love street corn. I love tajin, which is the seasoning that's on top. It's like a kind of spicy chili lime seasoning. So this is corn, mayo, queso fresco, tajin. And this is good that it comes off the cob. Just in case you're like here with a hot babe and you don't want corn in your teeth, it's great. So you're not like, you know, like a squirrel eating corn on the cob. You just get to eat it with a fork. I keep like getting so excited and then just run away without showing you my snack. Lychee ice cream from China. So tasty. I love lychee everything. I love to eat a lychee out of a can. I love to eat a fresh lychee. I love a lychee mocktail. Once you let this like soften up a little bit, because it comes straight, you know, from the freezer, but once it softens up, so good. Okay, this is gonna be yet another terrible sounding video. We've got the drums going on right now. This is a kakigori. You can get it with the condensed milk topping, sweet milk topping. It's an extra dollar, so it's not under five dollars. This is so delicious, especially on a hot day. Just so you know, this paper cup, it gets pretty melty pretty quickly. I make a huge mess, huge mess, always. I usually go for melon, but today I went for strawberry. 
good. Very sweet. Love it. Just in case anybody cares, I did eat most of this because I'm thirsty and I still haven't bought water. Please hydrate and drink water. But I gotta tell you, I don't like the strawberry as much as the melon. I went on a limb and I really should have stuck with my tried and true favorites. You live, you learn, you know what I mean? I love these ketchup chips. They don't taste just like ketchup. I guess they have like a vaguely ketchup-y flavor. They've got good spice on them. The best part is when you use two hands, you can roll it up. Put it back in your backpack. You've got a snack for the afternoon. I really can't do this. I don't know if you need proof that I'm eating it. There you go. I'm so bad at vlogging. I like keep forgetting that I am in the middle of doing a video, but I am here now at Magic Kingdom, walking down Main Street USA. I'm so excited. Had three more snacks left to go. So I'll be here for the rest of the day. about these is that actually like two in one so it's totally shareable or like me I'm gonna save one for later it's very it's very crummy though it's like all over my hands and did I get napkins of course not so now it's all over my pants they have them in like a hot toaster locker then they come out and they're nice and warm and taste great. This is a chocolate covered pineapple. I got it at Big Top Souvenirs, but you can also get them at the Main Street Confectionery as well as the Candy Cauldron and like a bazillion other places. Okay, I'm gonna try and take a bite and not look terrible doing it. So please hold. Oh, this is a really good one. Sometimes the pineapple is like not quite ripe, but this one is really ripe and juicy. I was gonna save it for later, but I don't want to anymore, it's too good. So I walked all the way over to Tortuga Tavern to get my last snack which was the rum cake, which is $3.99. They're closed, I waited too long. So I guess, just go see if I can find something else. I thought Dole Whip, like a plain Dole Whip cup was $4.99, it's $5.99. Off to find another snack. Okay, so I grabbed a chocolate croissant from Gaston's Tavern. There's the chocolate, there's the croissant, it's pretty good. So I did it, 10 snacks, under $5 each, spent less than $47. That's all I know off the top of my head. And again, if you share with somebody, you will spend even less than I spent today. Not too shabby.